So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. So do you wish to work with companies like Cred, Upgrad, Urban Company, Razorpay, but you are not able to apply because of your lack of experience and of lack of opportunities? So here's a solution to this problem. Relable by Unacademy is a hiring platform that helps freshers and experienced people to get jobs in India's top companies. All you need is skills. So what you need to do is you just need to give the relevant test that is completely based on your skills. Depending on your performance, your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired from the relevant platform. And the best thing about this is it's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem root to node path or you might find a question like root to leaf path. That's why I will be solving root to node path and then you can easily solve any question like root to leaf path also. So what does the problem state? The problem states you'll be given a node. Okay, a node value will be given to you. So either the node value will be given to you or the node will be given to you. You need to figure that out. Okay, uh, so assuming the node uh, is given to you seven. So from this root, that's one. You have to tell me the path to that. So it's basically one comma. 2 comma 5 comma 7 okay that's the path had this tree pointer uh, been having the parent pointers like just in case if it had the parent pointers then the question would have been super easy like you start from 7 go to the parent 5 go to the parent 2 go to the parent 1 and the moment you reach new uh, the moment you reach the node you stop but we we don't have the parent node so how do you solve this problem now now in order to solve this problem we will be using the in order traversal why not uh, some other traversal yes you can use pre order you can use the uh, post order as well but that will be a bit complicated so generally we try to use the traversal which is very simple because in an interview you have to explain the solution also so if you complicate the solution the tougher it will be for you to implement as well as to explain it so always try to use the traversal which uh, gives you a simpler solution and a simpler uh, code okay so that's why i'll be using the in order traversal nothing special so what i will do is i'll try to use recursion okay so initially i'll start with the uh, root now when i reach the new uh, when i reach the uh, this root i'll be having a data structure okay and that data structure will be empty the moment i reach the node one i will say this guy is not null so i will take this guy and also just make sure this guy is not equivalent to this okay so just take this now where can i go i know that i can either go to the left and i can either go to the right so at first remember this at first the call for the left will go then it will come back then the call for right will go and then the right call will come so first the left recursion has to has to appear so the left recursion happens and you come back uh, come to the node 2 with an array having 1 so you see that this node 2 is not equivalent to your node 7 so you take this node 2 and you insert that into your array it's very important that you insert that into your array now node 2 will say i can go to the left i can go to the right but first as the as i said as i said you have to go to the left okay so you will go to the left and the moment you go to the left you have a node 4 okay you have a node 4 that's not equivalent to say 7 so you will again take that node and you'll insert that into 4 now over here you again go to the left and the moment you go to the left you will find null okay now remember this remember this the moment you find null you're going to return a false please remember you're going to return a false so the left call got a false remember this the left call got a false now you will go to the right so the right went and the right also returned a false so the right call also got a false so which apparently meant that neither on the left neither on the right did you have this node 7 you did not have so if you did not have if both of them both of them say that on the left on the right we do not have the node 7 and do you remember while we came we checked for 4 so what i can say is on this path or on the subtree, we do not have seven. So it's time to go back. So remember, remember, since you're using a single array, so since you've added four to that array, while going back, remove this four 
remove this 4 and go back. So if you remove and go back, you will again come back with an array as 1, 2. If you will not remove, then this will come back with 1, 2, 4 as the array. The array that we are using is being passed by reference. So whatever changes you are making, just make sure you redo them. If you have added 4, you re remove it. Now over here, then again, so you will re return false. So this 2 guy, which went to the left, came back with again a false. Oh goodness, he came back with a false. So what he will do is, he will go to the right. Again, when he goes to the right, please note, you are coming to 5. So you will add 1, 2, 5. You will add 5 to it because, and you will check, is 5 equivalent to 7? And you will find, 5 is not equivalent to 7. No, 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 it is not. So what you will do is, again take the same journey of left. Moment you come to the left, again you will add 1, 2, 5, 6 to your array. Same thing you will do again. Go to the left and you will say no man, no, not 7 here. You will again go to the right, you will say no man, no 7 here, come back. Both sides, left and right, came back as false. If they are coming back as false, can I say I will just take it out and go back and again return false. Remember, 5 when, went to left returned a false okay now 5 will go to the right the moment it gets to right i have a 1 2 5 7 i'll insert 7 into my array and 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 i see that this 7 is ultimately equivalent to my node and if that's the case and if that's the case there's no need to go for left and right you will directly return a true remember this without removing 7 you'll directly return a true so can i say this 5 which called for left got a false but the moment it called for right it got a true so if any of the left calls or right calls give you a true any of any of that means on that path you figured that out so again without removing one to five you will go back by passing it true so this guy will be actually five now because it was passed by reference so it inserted five and it came back as true again this two guy called left it got a false but called right it got a true so the moment it gets true, it will go back. This time, the reference variable would have made the array 1 to 5. Now, on 1, you made a left call. That gave you true. Will you go to the right? Will it? Will it make sense? Will it? No, man. No. So what you will do is, it will not go to the left. So remember, if any of the left or any of the right call gives you a true, that means you have got your path. Go back, man. Go return. Wapas. So at the end, you will go back with a true. So you have got that guy and I can say the array that you are carrying that's 1, 2, 5 by the way I forgot to add 7 I forgot to add 7 so please make sure you add 7 the array that you are carrying the array that you are carrying 1, 2, 5, 7 at the end is ultimately your path I hope you have understood the at least thought process I try to go every direction and if I do not get it I return false and I just remove that guy from my array and if I get it, I don't remove and I pass on true, true, true. So that that true will signify, don't remove. You've got the part. Take this array and carry it as the answer. Got it? Did not. Not an issue. Let's check out the code. You will definitely get it over there. So guys, as usual, the C++ code is on the left and the Java code is on the right. And they're extremely identical. So I'll just be telling you about the C++ code. So I've given the, I've, I've been given the uh, node A. And I've been given the uh, node B, which I have to find, uh, or rather the value. And remember this can be the value this can be the node address or this can be anything okay so initially i declare a vector and then if if the root is null i just say there's no path possible and then I, I then i call the get path and the question mentions the question mentions that this b always exist that is why i'm not putting any extra check if the question says you have to check whether b exists or not then you have to then you have to check like you have to call this function and you have to check whether I got it true or not, whether I got it true or not, you have to put an uh, external check. Perfect. I've, I've been passing the root, uh, the array and the value that I have been looking for. If it is null, then I'll return false. If you remember, if we reach uh, any left, right where we did not get it, we will return false. And we will always add that guy to my array. Okay. And after that, it was very simple. If, if, if that guy is equivalent to what I'm looking for, I've got my path. There's no need to go for left and right. I'll return true. If it is not, then I'll go left. Then I'll go right. And if any of them is returning true, if any of them is returning true, I'll return true and go back. And if they're not, 
then I have to do the tedious task of removing. I'll remove by pop back, right? And then I'll return a false because I did not get it. As simple as that, guys. If either of left and right gives true, true, or else you'll return false saying, aha, no path here. Perfect. Time complexity. Definitely big off N as you're doing a in order traversal. Space complexity, definitely uh, big off height of the tree. As you're doing in order, you'll be using a recursive stack space. So I hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.